Now to alleged stock trading abuse on Capitol Hill. News Nation has been given a tip that a House Democrat is publishing a letter today pushing for a public hearing on this matter. It's part of a growing effort to ban congressional members and senators from trading stocks altogether. Joe Khalil has the scoop from Capitol Hill. Good morning, Joe. Hey, good morning, Mitch. And we were able to scoop that. The effort to ban all members of Congress, along with their spouses and dependent children, from owning stock altogether, that effort is going to get a big boost today when we see later on that that letter uh, is going to be published. The two members of Congress that are really pushing this effort are trying to get a public hearing. And that's what they're going to be asking for now because they say they want the public, they want the American people to see what they see, which is, in their view, abuses of this system. And it comes down to this. If you're in the U.S. Senate, if you're in the House, you very likely are at some point going to get classified briefings with information that almost always impacts the market in some way. And a lot of these lawmakers can take that information that none of us are getting and they can use it to profit and to play the stock market. And so that is the issue. And look, this has been going on for quite some time. None of this is new. But the reason that there was a spotlight on this issue over the last two years really is the pandemic. You had dozens of lawmakers in the House and Senate uh, before the pandemic really tanked the economy in March of 2020, they started selling off hundreds of thousands of dollars, in some cases millions of dollars worth of stock. And so when the economy did suffer, they did not. They avoided losses that the rest of the country ended up getting. And so you have these kinds of situations now. Democrat Abigail Spanberger and Republican Chip Roy say they have just had enough. They think that this should be illegal. And so they are introducing this bill to try to make it so. And we're going to see some movement on it today. All right. So these members of Congress, Joe, they got access to more information than you or I get. And they're allowed to use that to trade. It's apparently totally legal. Um, are there any cases where there's been classified information or a line has been crossed into illegality? Has anyone ever been prosecuted? So it's incredibly rare. We know the FBI did investigate a handful of senators, a couple of House members around the pandemic to see if maybe they were using that information in a way that did cross that line from legal to illegal. Ultimately, the Department of Justice decided they were not going to pursue any criminal charges, no indictments. We didn't see anything like that. But there have been investigations before. So sometimes these lines get a little blurred, Mitch. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.